Hey guys, welcome to Maximo's Mind of God. Thanks for stopping by. Today I just wanted to show you the bow that I finished. It's a sling bow. You can see it has the rubber. I just wanted to kind of give you a good little look at that. I've been working on it. Come out pretty nice. Got the stained wood on it. You know, got the steel frame. And uh, got some little arrow rest. And this of course slides. It's adjustable. You just slide this back and forth. You can kind of adjust that. But it's pretty much fixed right here where I, where I like it. But anyways, I uh, just wanted to show that to you and uh, show you a little feature I added. This is just a little hand guard. I noticed when I shoot this, it um, it doesn't even slap your wrist anyway, but I just wanted to take precautions. So I got this piece of rub this uh, leather here with two rubber bands on it. And basically there's uh, these, fl these flanges cut out on the top and bottom. And all you'll do is with the one side, you'll slide it through this arrow rest right here. Right around the, the top of it. And then it'll come back around and there's a there's a little uh, bolt right here that has enough space where you can bring this around take the other part of the rubber and, and fix that on there and so you have this little guard right here so then you just put your hand up underneath it just like so and the little flanges give way so that this goes right over your arm right here and so you're protected you know from the arrow or from anything you know hitting you and kicking back and um I thought that was pretty cool, so I just wanted to kind of show that to you. I think it came out pretty nice. Um, there's some pictures, I think, at the beginning of this video and at the end, um, if I remember to put them on there the right way. Plus, you can go to my website, MaximoIsMindOfGod.com, and check out some more photos of this. But I just wanted to show you that. I'm pretty proud of it, um, and, I, and I just wanted to go ahead and show the world. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll go ahead and show you how to put the rubber on here and um, then we'll go and give it a, a test shot. Now after shooting, I noticed that it had a little bit of upward arc to it. All I did to correct that is I, um, I adjusted this. This wasn't exactly lined up with my arrow rest before. It was a little low, so when the arrow released, it kind of went up. But what I did is I raised this. I just kind of re readjusted the rubber and then retightened it up here and here, and now it's straight, so it shoots good now. So that's all you gotta do if, it, if you get a little R up or down arc. Just go ahead and uh, uh, tighten your rubber on either side until you get the, the where you knock the arrow right here, equal with the arrow rest right here. And that's all you gotta do. I'm gonna show you how to put rubber and uh, how to set up this bow um, for shooting. So basically it's pretty simple. The first thing is the um, is the, the knock, wherever you put your arrow. And all it is, is like a, it's like a double noose almost. This side of the um, rope, it's just one piece of rope right here. On this side, I tied a noose knot, like the kind they, they hang people with, uh, you might be familiar with. So that's what that is, a noose. It's already secured on the rubber. The string runs all the way through, and on this side, I just made a loop, tied string around it. And if you'll notice, I have tape wrapped around, and this is for the knock of the arrow, a little a gap in the middle. Now, the reason why this loop is a fixed loop, and it's close to the where you put your fingers, is because of the way this bow is set up. This, this is the, where your arrow rest is, and the distance from here to here, where the rubber goes, then from here to down here is longer, it's longer down here. That's why you have to wrap around this. So what I did with that, with this, is I went ahead and put this closer down so that it can line up right here with that arrow rest whenever you tie it. It gives you more rubber down here and it gives you, um, it tries to make it equal right here. So, so that's all how you make this right here, just one piece of string. This paracord, this is a noose knot. It, it runs all the way through with tape for your fingers. Leave a gap in the middle for the arrow and just tie a short loop right here at the top for the other piece of rubber. So all you're gonna do is these little holes on the bottom is where the rubber slides in. And there's two on this side. So I've already had these through in, two in there and they have little beads on the bottom so the rubber doesn't come through. So if you'll notice, you slide it in and it goes up underneath this angle right here. This little, this little brace comes up under it, then it's going to come up through it right here. And this is a loop of rubber, by the way, one loop. That comes through it like this. It goes all the way around it and back up inside it so that it pokes out through the inside right there. 
leaving you with this right here. See that? Then on the other side, you'll take another piece of rubber and you'll go ahead and slide this through the loop. Just like so and get it kind of centered. So I slid that through the loop, it's centered. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with it and you're gonna slide it through these holes. Now what you do is you stretch it and once it slides into that hole, it'll, it'll open back up. So you'll take one side, stretch it, slide it in the slit, let it pop through. The other side, stretch it and it pops through. So you see we got both of them pop through, they went through the string. Now what you're gonna look for is the level of this arrow rest right here. You, you want the knock of the, the arrow to be even with your arrow rest. So you'll, you'll kind of eyeball that and you'll start pulling on this. Make sure this is tight down here after you get it on there. Pull it up to where it's nice and taut. And once you get it nice and taut down here, now go ahead and start eyeballing this where your arrow rest is. Get it about even. And once you get it about where you want it, I think that's pretty close. Once you get it about where you want it, you're going to put the beads on it. So what we'll do is we'll pull this down. Okay, so once you get your um, your rubber adjusted where you want it, and you see that I've done that here, I just kind of messed with it. I pulled this down a little bit, lined it up, put the beads in it, tightened the beads down, cut off the excess rubber right here. Then you're ready to put, um, put beads in there. So just take you a couple of little beads that'll fit in there. Go ahead and shove them down in there once you get it where you want it. you lick them they should go in pretty good they'll fit right into the top down there go ahead and squeeze them down make sure you're lined up right that looks pretty good and that's all you do so you'll just go ahead and throw your beads now they're in there the rubber can't come down, you're lined up right here with your arrow rest, and that's how you load the bow. So it's just sliding, the, slipping the one rubber in there, going up under here like this, around, back around. You got this about the same amount of rubber here. You got your arrow rest lined up, your arrow and knock lined up with the rest here, and then you got your rubber right here. You got your two things for your fingers, and that's all there is to it. So I um, just wanted to show you that, and I uh, thought it was pretty cool. Nice looking bow. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so now I'm going to show you a demo of this new bow. If you'll notice, I have the little um, arm guard here to protect your wrist whenever you pull back and release. So let's go ahead and take a couple of shots and uh, see how this puppy works, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to try to hit that little box down there, and I doubt that I'll get it. This actually works pretty well. It's pretty firm. The little arrow knock right here works pretty good. You can just kind of pop it in there. Pops right in. Now this arrow wrist also adjusts as, I, as I'll show you in the description, but uh, actually works pretty good. Well, I broke my arrow, but you can see that it does work and, uh, and I hope you enjoyed. So uh, thanks for watching. Contact me with any info. Uh, subscribe, Maximo's Mind of God. Stay tuned. Bye.